Hi, welcome to the video on the web map service protocol or the WMS and XYZ tile web maps. Though the name might sound a bit cryptic, it basically boils down to the feature that presents the users the ability to add new map backgrounds to the map visualization in Oracle Analytics. So here is a map out there in the internet which presents the population density across the globe. Now when we do analysis on data sets related to population, it might be really good if we can have this map as a map background. So let's see how we can bring this map as a map background option in Oracle Analytics. So in Oracle Analytics, you need to go to console and then click on maps. Under the backgrounds, you click on the option to add background and you should see two new options, which is the web map service or the WMS and the tile web map, which is the XYZ. Now this map that we just saw about the population density is an example of a web map service. So I'm going to click on web map service and it opens up a dialog. So web map service is nothing but a protocol through which we communicate with the web server, which actually hosts the map. OAC will be making requests to the web server to get the images that actually represents the map. And once the server accepts our request and responds with the images, OAC renders those images as a map background. Now let's see how we can fill out this particular dialog to set up a WMS configuration. Now the first field is actually the name field. So this is nothing but a name that you want to give to the map. So I'm just going to give population density map. A description is an optional field. You can leave it empty. And then it actually asks for a URL. So this is nothing but the URL of the web server that OAC will be communicating with in order to get those images to render the map background. So all these fields such as URL, version, coordinate system, layers and format, those should be given by the admin of the web server which hosts the map background. This map is actually hosted in the Columbia University server and the admin of the Columbia University server has given the URL of the web server to be this one. So we are just going to copy and paste it in our OAC. So we have copied it and now I'm going to paste the server here. Now, since this is an external domain, a request to these things will be blocked by OAC unless and until it is being added to the safe domains. So either you can add these things manually into safe domains or you can just agree and click this checkbox. By clicking on this checkbox, there is automatically an entry added to the list of safe domains under this domain name. Next comes the version number. It is already pre-populated with the value, but you have the liberty to go and change the value from this dropdown. Again, the values of the version number should be given to you by the admin of the map server, which hosts the map background. Coordinate system is by default, we are rendering it on a 2D background. So it's default to EPSG3857. And then it asks for another field called layers. So layers again is given to us by the admin of that particular web server. So we are just going to copy this layer name and we are going to paste it. Note that you can add multiple layers to this map background. For now, we just want the population density. So I'm just going to copy that particular layer and format again should be given by the admin. I default it as to PNG. Now I'm going to click on save. You get a message saying that uh, the map configuration will not take into effect until the page is refreshed. So we are just going to do a refresh. Now you should see the population density showing up as an option in the backgrounds tab. So let's go and inspect this. And you should also see a new tab in this dialog called preview. So once we click on the preview, request will be made from OAC to the corresponding map server. If the, our responses are successful, then you should see the map background getting rendered in the preview tab. So now it was successful and now we were able to bring the map which was there in the internet into our analytics. Now let's see how we use this in a project. So, so here is a project created using the sample states data set and I have rendered the city column on a map visualization. It render on the default map background. So in my case, it's the Oracle BI. So what you can do is you can go to the Vis property dialogs of the map visualization and click on the globe icon here. And you should see the background map option. So you can click on that and you should see population density map that we created. So we can go and choose this as our map background and you should see the map getting rendered. So you can zoom in and zoom out and request will be sent for those particular viewport to get the images and render it as a map background. Another interesting piece about the web map service is 
a user might not be fully dependent on the admin to provide him all the details. So all he requires is the URL of the web server. So once he has that, he has the ability to know all the details about the various layers, what is the version and all the necessary parameters that needs to be filled out in order to make a WMS configuration. And this is how he's going to do it. So let's copy the URL of the web server. Uh, that is a HTTP GET uh, request called the GET capabilities, which provides the user all the necessary information in order to configure a web map service. And the URL goes like this, the URL of the web server followed by the question mark, a request equal to GET capabilities, which is nothing but the HTTP GET request and service equal to WMS. Once we send this HTTP GET request to the server, it responds back with an XML and this XML has all the information needed so here is the XML uh, that we got from the HTTP GET request and you should see the version number is 1.3.0. You can scroll down to search what are the formats that it has supported, PNG, GIF, JPEG and various other formats are being supported and you can search for layers and it has bunch of layers and basically the name tag is the one that we are looking for so we can add any of these layers to the layer uh, properties in the WMS config dialog. Thanks for watching the video.